So the Kansas City Chiefs defense is honestly unreal. And there's many reasons for me to say that. Now, it's no secret that the Kansas City Chiefs have been having a lot of struggles on offense. And the defense has been covering up for them struggles. Now, usually every year, Spags defenses tend to start off slow. And they never start off like this. But this year, Steve Spagnolio's defense has started off very, very hot. And man, this team and this defense is looking like they could really help the Kansas City Chiefs repeat and go to another title. Because this is a way better defense than last year. We know the offense is going to get it straight. Hey, they can even get it straight tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow's going to be a big day, you know, because the Vikings offense is very good. So you're going to have to pressure Kirk, um, things like that. And our offense is going to have to be on point. But this defense is honestly unreal. I mean, the Jets game, Zach Wilson wasn't supposed to be getting away with that. But it was a lot of momentum changes, like the safety um, the two picks, so that, that's it. some things you just can't put on the defense. Lions game, we missed Chris Jones. He definitely brought Goff down a few times. Plus, Kadarius Tony had a pick six. For the Jaguars game, we shut them down. They didn't give them a touchdown, held them to nine points. And for the Bears game, I think we gave them a garbage time, 10 points, but was leading 34 to zero at half. So the Kansas City Chiefs have a very good defense, and I think it's convos. Well, you could say that they're top five because Chris Jones, we have the best defensive tackle in the league, and we have the best cornerback duo in the league in Tripp McDuffie and Snead. And if you don't believe that, stats back it up. Snead has only allowed 160 yards this year, guarding some very good players, and McDuffie has only allowed 140 yards this year, guarding some very great players as well. So when you got Snead and McDuffie locking it up in the secondary, you got solid safeties like Mike Edwards, Brian Cook, um, Justin Reed, Tremari Connor, who's making a name for himself, then you'll be you'll be very happy about this Kansas City Chiefs team. They also have a very good D line with Derek Nandi, Chris Jones, Mike Dana, who's having a breakout season, kinda, and George Carl Laftis, who's in year two, who's projected to have a better year. And when we get to the linebackers, Nick Bolton hasn't played in two weeks, and they were still holding it down. Thanks to Drew Tranquil, it doesn't really feel like you lost Bolton that much. But Bolton is still very good. So you got Nick Bolton, Drew Tranquil, you got um, Leo Chanel, and then you got Willie Gay. So the Kansas City Chiefs have a lot of assets on defense that is very good. And they are all very good players. And they still have nice, solid, depth piece cornerbacks such as Jalen Watson, Joshua Williams, and Darius Rush, Nick Jones. So the Kansas City Chiefs are building a very great defense. And now all we need is the offense to lock in, right? and match what this defense is doing. And I do believe this defense is going to stay like this for the rest of the year. And I just can't wait till tomorrow, man. It's going to be a true test because the Vikings offense is powerful and people are sleeping. So Spag said that he, he's going to break down the two key principles behind the Kansas City Chiefs' excellent defensive start. So Steve Spagnuolo, you know, four weeks into the year, his defense is one of the better units in the NFL. It ranks eighth in yards per game and third down conversion rate, but it's also sixth in scoring on a per game basis and fourth in scoring on a per play basis. Sorry. Sixth in scoring on a per game basis and fourth in scoring on a per play basis. The Chiefs defense ranks fourth in opponents first downs per game and is fourth in the second most punts per play. So... The Chiefs have the fifth best defense in the league when measured by EPA per play. So Kansas City Chiefs is suffocating the opposition. And I mean, the Chiefs really haven't had a cupcake schedule to start the year, if you ask me. I understand that their two most recent outings came against young quarterbacks who was obviously struggling in the past. But the team's first two contests of 2023, it featured matchups with some, matchups with some very high-flying offense from the 2022 campaign. I mean... The Lions, man, they had high-powered offense and the Jags. So this feels like a legitimate defense. And I think this is going to be the best defense of the Mahomes era thus far. And Swag said he just keeps the two Cs. He makes sure they keep their chemistry and their confidence, you know. That's what Spag said. And, you know, don't hold them too. Like, don't, don't make them feel too pressured and things like that. Like just making them comfortable and making sure they have chemistry and a lot of confidence. 
So I love what Veach did in the all season. You know, he built the defense very, very well. And a lot of versatility all over the defense. And I'm sorry, I know I'm, my videos probably haven't been the same lately, but I'm just, you know, I'm not in the right state of mind, man, honestly. So I, I've been trying to do YouTube still. I'm not gonna stop, but everything gonna be cool. Y'all know how it is. Now, Justin Jefferson is gonna be a big test for this Chiefs defense. Like, it, it, it's, the, it's the truth. He's gonna be a big test, man. Through four games, the Chiefs have yet to allow a team more than 250 receiving yards. And in each game, they have held the opponent's wide receiver one to less than 75 yards. So we're going to have to be on our A game tomorrow because we're going on the road to face the Minnesota Vikings, who's now ranked third in total passing yards. And the Vikings are a one in, te a one in three team that is desperate to get back to winning that I believe play the Bears next week. So, you know, if they beat us, they know they're going to beat the Bears. So that, just like that, they're back at three and three. So we have to win this game. And Justin Jefferson is the one providing that f fuel for that passing offense. Heading into this game, he leads the NFL in receiving yards with 543. And he has the Chiefs' attention. Andy Reid said Jefferson's a heck of a player. You're aware of him, obviously, for his skill. You have to be creative. But most of all, you have to cover the guy. And that's the best thing you could do. So Justin Jefferson spends most of his time on the outside, which means he's going to have a showdown with Legereus Sneed. And the Chiefs have trusted Sneed to match up with primary receivers. I mean, in week two, he slowed down Calvin Ridley. And the week after that, he shut down DJ Moore. Um, he limited Garrett Wilson to 60 yards on nine receptions. And Wilson's biggest gain was just for 14 yards. So Sneed has been locked down, jamming dudes at the line of scrimmage. And... Yeah, man, we're going to have to see what we're going to do to Jefferson because he's explosive. He's going to have a lot of explosive plays. He gets a yard after catch. He's very athletic. And this is going to be the biggest receiver challenge that we're going to face all season. So that's going to see how the defense is going to handle it. I mean, they even have TJ Hawkinson, who's very good. Jordan Addison, who's good. So the Chiefs defense is going to have to be very locked in tomorrow. Or this could turn into a classic 2018 type of shootout vibe. And if we do get a 2018 type of shootout vibe, man, then, hey, I can't complain. I do want to see Mahomes have a master class and put up a lot of numbers, man. I mean, who doesn't want to see that? Um, but the main test would be the defense. And the Kansas City Chiefs defense have been very good. I think they're going to keep us in a lot of games. They're going to help us win a lot of games. Patrick Mahomes is going to love this defense. Um, and once his offense is clicking at the level that we know, it's going to be a scary Kansas City Chiefs team, man. I'm ready to see that happen. I'm ready to see what the Chiefs offense does, the Chiefs defense does. Very excited for that Vikings game tomorrow. I'm going to make a very good video for y'all after the game. And yeah, man, it's been your boy Chiefs Priority. And I'm out. Peace. I'm going to keep getting out of these vids. Um, I'm going to just keep, you know, just focus on myself, clearing my mind, getting out of these videos, man. Thanks for the support. And I'm out. Peace.